What's up, guys? Yeah, I'm uh, just gonna have a little breakfast, okay? Gears of War. Kind of a weird game. I swear. Well, the human race literally destroys itself because they deny the enemy's control. What's interesting about the Bible, it's a double-edged sword, which is to say that it's a blessing and a curse to know what God's law is and to either, well, you're a servant to it either way because there are things that you will do that will bring the curse, but there's things that you will do that will bring the blood bring the blessing so it's kind of weird and this game is very strange with a lot of innuendos it says things like the, the missions are the pale horse you call down fire from the sky you're fighting locusts uh, there's a thing called emergence day which would be like what coming out of the tomb for a time the humans of Sarah knew the illusion of peace until Emergence Day. In time, their valiant defense was crushed. With billions dead, humans denied their enemy control. By destroying their own civilization. Now, the long struggle against overwhelming odds approaches the final desperate step. And that's what we're up against. This book is more than just a book. It's like some kind of strange social experiment from another world where you basically show people what's going to happen. Prophecy. And then guess what? It comes true. It comes true because what you think and how you feel is what is. That's why when you watch your little experiment with your two little slits, why that experiment changes when you're viewing it, We're in trouble, guys. You guys got my phone number. I have the math to connect the Bible to science. Zero times zero equals reality. Really? Zero, God, invisible, doesn't exist. For a time, the humans of Sera knew the illusion of peace. Until... Emergence Day. With billions dead, humans denied their enemy control by destroying their own civilization. Now, the long struggle against overwhelming odds approaches a final, desperate step. This is what you don't understand. When it talks about the beast, what does it say? It says, who? Who can, who can defeat it? Who can overcome it? That's because God is both. Isaiah 45, 7 says, I form the light and I create darkness. I make peace and I create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. In the beginning, God created. I create darkness. I create evil. 
the heavens and the earth. And when the theologians read that scripture, do you know what they, they read it and they go, huh, it looks like something happened. Oh yeah, something happened all right. And guess what happened? We get to be the people to make it happen. We either do what's right so we can be accepted. For a time, the humans of Sarah knew the illusion of peace until the emergence. by destroying their own civilization. Now, the long struggle against overwhelming odds approaches a final, desperate step. Would you like to know what the overwhelming odds are? Belief. That book, that most purchased book in the entire world, is a map. It's a map to heaven on earth. It's a plan. When you read things like, there'll never be a tribulation, ever like that again! You know why? Because we're going to learn from it. We're going to stand back and just like in the garden, we're going to go, what is this we have done? Someday. I'd like to talk to you guys. Get in touch with me. I love you. Shalom. Here's to you. Today's broadcast brought to you by Anheuser-Busch, makers of natural ice, 5.9% alcohol. Get the job done.